to my channel. Hey yo, hey yo, listen up, listen up, yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. The wireless woman. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. All right. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, Wi Fi's. Welcome back to yet another underground transmission of the wireless woman. Go ahead and do me that big favor on your way in and like this video. Why? Because when you like it, well, I love it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. <laughs> And click the bell for notifications of when I go live and when I upload new content. So, listen, I happen to be looking at the Met Gala 2023 on May the 1st. And I know this video is weeks later, but listen, <laughs> I'm just going to call that Bulls on Parade. Hashtag should have never gave you niggas money. They should have never gave you niggas money. <laughs> you don't know how to appreciate it. You know, I am a huge fan of Fred Hampton. If you are unlearned in the ways of Fred Hampton, you should go and check it out in your own copious free time. You know what? This is a side note. I was actually told that my videos are too long. Now, my Wi-Fi's that have been with me since season one, y'all know my videos went from being an hour to 40 minutes to 30 minutes to 20 minutes. Now they they run around 12 to 15 minutes, and they saying they're still too long. Do people not know this is YouTube? I primarily do my, my podcast, my podcast on YouTube for the purpose of having a long form. If you people want two and three, one and a half, 40 second videos, please go to TikTok. Please go to TikTok. I am flabbergasted at the, at the amount of content that TikTokers can get into like one, two minutes, three minutes tops. Like I'm fascinated by it, but that is not a platform for geriatric milestone millennials okay <laughs> we need a little bit more time to talk all right we read books we grew up outside you know we we are we are not the adhd generation kind of actually i ain't gonna lie it, it do be us a lot but my point is <laughs> if i can't have your attention for more than two or three minutes at a time Head on over to TikTok for real, for real, for real. And it, it ain't no hate. I ain't mad at you. I ain't hating. I got a TikTok. <laughs> I be over there talking for 60 seconds at a time, you know. I mean, if that's the type of thing that you're into, just follow me on TikTok and you'll get the cliff notes from my videos. You won't even have to worry about all this. But for my folks, it's got 10 minutes for me. Thank you, first of all. But I was watching that Met Gala. Baby. Bulls on parade, capitalism on parade. And Fred Hampton said, he said, listen, we cannot beat white capitalism with black capitalism. We have to beat capitalism with socialism. We said we're not going to fight capitalism with black capitalism, but we're going to fight it with socialism. And like I said, y'all know I was at the university this semester. I'm still pursuing my degree. I don't know. I might have to stop again. but. I was in it to win it. I did all right this semester, y'all. Not as good as I could have. Just working that job, taking care of them kids. But I survived. I survived. But he said this. And now that I have a better understanding of socialism and communism, you know, those dirty words. Ooh, I can honestly say that for us as a community and as a culture to be sitting amongst ourselves arguing about whether we should date bus drivers or not, when we have black elites doing stuff like this.
I mean, have we made it or have we not black people? Which one? Which one? Because if we done made it, why are we over here arguing about this stuff? <laughs> why are we over here? Why is Umar Johnson on here talking about how you don't need to have an education? Have we made it or have we not? Because if we have not, these type of exorbitant displays of wealth at a time when so many people are struggling in this country. And it's funny because they're turning up the heat on us so slow that it's almost like a lot of people have cognitive dissonance around the fact that we're struggling. Like they really be like, well, in other countries, it's way worse. Yeah, okay. But in other co countries, you also don't have the Met Gala. In other countries, you don't have people who play games and make hundreds of millions of dollars for that. That is, this is too rich of a country for us not to have universal health care when other developed countries have it. Now, if we're going to, as Americans, compare ourselves against third world countries, well then, yes, yes, you are right. We have it very good. Absolutely. But if we're going to compare ourselves against Denmark, if we're going to compare ourselves against Norway, if we're going to compare ourselves against Canada, <laughs> then, yeah, we're going to have to do better. We don't have universal access to education, health care, housing. But then they up here doing this. So you're going to have to make that make sense to me. Now, we're paying taxes, but they don't. And then when AOC went to the Met Gala wearing her dress that said, text the rich, baby, they ain't invited her back. She'll never go again. But my point is, we're really arguing amongst ourselves over scarce resources. Who should date and marry? Who? Listen, let's be honest. First of all, black people don't even marry at a rate that makes this a viable conversation, but all the same, we need to start holding elites responsible for what's going on in this country. We need to have real dialogue as the proletariat, as the working class people of this country about how much of our blood, sweat, tears, life force are we willing to sacrifice for people to live like this, okay? Because we don't have a full understanding of what capitalism actually really is. Because listen, we made Jeff Bezos rich. We made Walmart what it is. We made Jay-Z rich. We made Rihanna rich. She ain't even dropped an album Y'all went and started buying Fenty. She ain't even got to go back to making music no more because you go support her. You go support whatever it is that she does. You know how many people after Rihanna did the Super Bowl and did product placement for her own product, you know how many videos um, those uh, get ready with me and um, makeup tutorial videos that people did with the red lipstick that she had on. At the Super Bowl, I ain't gonna lie, that red lipstick is fire. Like I'm I've been wanting to try it. I just can't afford it, to be quite honest. But my point is, my point is, we're going along with a lot of things, not considering where it's taking us, and then sitting here fighting amongst ourselves for something that really actually isn't even our fight. If we gonna fight, then let's fight the power. Fight the power! Fight the power! And if we ain't gonna do that, then we might as well leave each other the hell alone. Listen, I wanna know what you think. <laughs> you can drop your comments below. I look forward to engaging with y'all there because y'all know me. Now, if I'm wrong, tell me. I ain't necessarily saying I'm gonna agree with you, but I'm always open to new information and i love for you guys to share your ideas and comments with each other because none of us have all the answers but i do think 
do believe when I get on here that I'm pointing y'all in the right direction. I'm at least pointing towards what I feel like is a right or viable at least answer. I definitely don't get on here to, to, to tell y'all no nonsense. But if you see what I see, you know, you feel as I feel. But if you see what I see, if you feel as I feel, and if you would seek as I seek. So go ahead and drop that fire headphones emoji in the comments. I look forward to engaging with you there. But until the next transmission, y'all already know the deal. Go ahead and clock out for me. And all bitches are the same, just like my hoes, you know. I keep them broke.